So in this video, we're gonna be doing oil change on a C6 Corvette. This one has the Z51 package. So it's got an oil cooler, which means it has a slightly larger capacity. Um, it just makes the capacity from 5.5 liters to six liters. Tools you're gonna need for this are ram skip car up, ratchet, extender if you want, 13 millimeter socket, torque wrench. One inch wrench if you're using the K&N filter that I am. I'm using the K&N 1017 oil filter. I'm using this one because it has a piece on the end that makes it a lot easier to get it off. You may need an oil filter wrench. The last time I had the dealership do it, they put it on so tight that I had to essentially destroy the oil filter just to get it off. That's why I like using these and I like doing it myself. You're gonna need your oil of choice. I like Mobile One, I'm using the high mileage 5W30. Feel free to use whatever you like. So as I mentioned, this is the Z51. They have a six liter oil capacity. The base models that don't have the Z51 package don't have the oil cooler, so they only hold 5.5. All right, let's get started. I think I forgot to mention it, but you're gonna need something to collect your oil in. So first thing is we're just gonna break this loose. It's a good idea to let the car run for a few, just to let the oil heat up so it drains easier. Um, I also like to take the oil cap off um, inside the engine bay. Oh, and another thing you're gonna need a lot of is um, towels. Now, I usually let mine sit and drain for, I don't know, at least 20 minutes. I usually find something else to do while I'm waiting, so. I'm gonna go ahead and undo this, just to help it drain better. Right after it's done draining, I like to just clean the bolt up a little bit. I can't remember how often you're supposed to replace them. Mine still looks pretty good. I don't have like one of those copper crush washers, you know, that wear out every time. So I'm not too worried about replacing it on this go. Now over to the oil filter. This is what I really like about this oil filter because you can just get a wrench on here. I want to have some towels ready. Be careful because I had this running for a while earlier because I had to make a trip to go get the oil and this is really, really hot right now. And then we're just going to let that drain down and we're going to clean that area up too. While you're under here, it's always a good time to, you know, check things out. You can see this radiator mount's cracked. This is a common problem on these cars. This has been cracked for a while. It's just one of the many things I haven't got around to. All right, now that we have that cleaned up, we will move over and prep our new one. For the new oil filters, I always like to get a nice clean coat of oil around the ring. Now, when you're putting these back on, these oil filters only need to be hand tight. Like, don't crank these on here. Like as you go about your normal driving, they're they're gonna snug up even tighter with the heat and stuff. So if you sit here and crank these on like the dealership does, it's gonna be so difficult to get off. Maybe not this one because it has this, but if you wanna use a different brand, you're gonna give yourself a hard time. Now with that back on, we're going to torque this down to 18 foot pounds. 18 foot pounds is not that much force. So, uh, so if, if you don't have the right torque wrench that can get down that low, just be careful not to over torque it. So if you're gonna use like a normal ratchet, then just try not to over torque it. Like you don't have to crank on it that hard. All right, from here, we're gonna add the oil. You can decide how you wanna do it. I usually, since I hold um, six capacity and you're never gonna get everything out, I usually put five quarts in and then turn it on, let it get warm a little bit and then check the levels uh, before I go anywhere and then add more as needed. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start it up and let it run for a little while. And while I'm letting it warm, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my mess. Then we'll uh, come back to it once the oil gets up to operating temperature and we'll check the level and see where it's at. All right, so it's getting decently up to temperature. I checked it, don't see any leaks. So we're gonna take it for a short little spin. Not gonna get on or anything too crazy. And then we'll come back, check again for leaks, check the oil level, and then we'll call it a day.